Okay, so, yeah. so yeah. the first question is, who is the creator of Egg Free Hustle? Just Alpha Bird. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. You're not no, sure. That's no. okay. The uh, egg free custard is done by Arthur Bird. Okay. Uh, I know it's Alfred Bird. Um, Alfred Bird. In 1837, Alfred Bird, who was a qualified chemist and druggist, created instant egg free custard powder to cater to his wife's allergies to eggs and yeast. When he served this to the guest, he realized the commercial potential of his delicious invention and established Alfred Bird and Sons. In 2008, Luke and Gray developed Faisley Studios, sister project to the Custer Factory, geared towards digital and new media businesses, and in 2010, Zelig launched in the Custer Factory, attracting independent businesses and household names such as ASOS. By 2013, the Grays have developed a state of three quarters of a million square foot, and the Custer Factory quarter is a home to more than 400 creative and digital businesses and independent retail and leisure venues. Why is this store in Costa Factory at all places in the It's just a, it's a cool place to be. And it's a, that? just the atmosphere around here, Every all the businesses, everyone's kind of independent, everyone's kind of trying to bring out their own part of what they're doing to Birmingham and this is a great place to be. Um, I was looking for places in town and then like through skateboarding and knowing Mark over the road that idea. Okay. He said that there was a shop here and we looked into it and it was doable so we chose this. Um, we wanted somewhere as far as close to sorry as the as Birmingham city centre um, and it was affordable here mm -hmm. and it's sort of independent shops all gathering together which was quite nice. I chose to work here because um, I've always been in and around the Costa Factory for many years mm -hmm. and I just love the atmosphere here, there's a nice vibe down here, um, lovely place to work, I wouldn't want to work anywhere else basically. We kind of feel real strongly about independent business, you know, and if you go anywhere else in Birmingham it's kind of lacking, whereas everything here is, is independent and creative and it's, I think that's why, why we like it and why it's, it's important to Sure right. Do you know anything about the Custer Factory that nobody else would know? Uh, no. I've like I've, I've only been living in Birmingham a couple of months. So. Okay. Cool. Have you answered that? Uh, no, I don't think I've been there. No, I'm afraid not. I don't think it's. I think I don't only. Really, I'm quite new here, so I don't really know too much. But learning as we go. Not if I'm going to be honest. Not really. No, no. Not too. No. Uh, the entirety of the basement is a huge and technologically complex sex dungeon. Where do you see yourself this business and custom factory in five years time? Business wise, hopefully busy and shipping out orders all over the world and getting people coming down and wanting to hang out and enjoy the atmosphere. Uh, I'm not sure really. Like, hopefully still be here, maybe a bigger unit, expanding more stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll see where it goes, I'm not sure. Um, hopefully still here <laughs> with the economic climate the way it is and everything but uh, no it's, it's a great place uh, it's improving sort of week by week and uh, new people coming in and uh, people finding us which is great. I hope I'm still here probably in big, bigger premises but I uh, should well no let's be positive I will be here. Because the factory in five to ten years um, it's kind of a tricky one hopefully much more uh, busy and well known, yeah, because I mean, in my opinion, it's the sort of creative centre of Birmingham, but it's it's uh, yeah, it's not it's not heard of enough. It's too much of a secret. Uh, like the entirety of the country under the control of ISIS and Shah.